Hello guys, I'm PandaPixels and today I'm creating a full 3D animation scene of a GTA style environment using the Recon 4D animation app. Before we dive into the process, here's a quick preview of the final result. The These are some of the raw renders I took during the build process. As you can see, the lighting, textures, and camera angles really bring the scene to life. All right, let's jump into the tutorial and I'll walk you through how I built this scene step by step. First things first, open Recon 4D and create a new project. As always, you'll see that default cube sitting in the middle of your scene. Let's delete that cube because, well, it's just chilling there for no reason. <laughs> now I'm adding a plane and scaling it according to the scene size. I'll adjust it more later, so don't worry about perfection yet. Then I'm subdividing the plane a little bit and shaping one side to make it look like a small slope, sort of like a pavement edge or a raised ground. To smooth out that slope, I'm using the smooth tool and boom, we've got our base. <laughs> Pro tip, save your project file now. Don't be like me and regret it later. Next, go to the import tab and select GLTF. Choose the .zip file that contains your 3D model. Once it's imported, place it on the ground and scale it down to fit your scene. I'm adding a texture to the base. I actually created a cool mix of two textures using Ibis Paint and then used PixArt to enhance the quality since Recon doesn't love blurry textures. Now I'm placing another plane under the shop to act as its foundation. Time to set up a temporary camera to check my angles. After that, I apply a concrete texture to the new plane, and I use both normal and roughness maps to get those realistic bumps. So I added a cube and started shaping it into a row. Now I'm placing a street lamp model. I got all my models from Sketchfab, by the way. Links are in the description. I'll even drop my project file if you want to follow along. Inside the shop, I added another light to make it look like it's glowing from within. Makes the whole environment feel alive. Just a quick tip, don't set the shadow softness too high. It can make the lighting look too flat. I also added a mission to the shop's banner and any neon text. Reduce the intensity of the streetlights a bit just to balance the scene. Time to add some life, I placed grass textures and a few 3D tree models to fill the environment. Small touches like these make the whole scene pop. I added a police car model and gave it that classic red and blue siren light. Looks in the final render. Also placed another light outside the shop to brighten up the corner. 
Oh, and here's a fun part. I copied the garbage bin and placed it to the other side of the road. Next, I animated the camera with a nice cinematic shot, you know, the kind that gives those movie-like vibes with smooth motion and a dramatic angle to make the whole scene feel alive and professional. Then I imported another car model into the scene. I placed it properly on the road and animated it to drive smoothly. No jerky movement, just clean and natural like it's actually cruising through the environment. But after a while, I decided to switch things up a bit. I changed the animation style and added a cool zoom in effect with the camera, giving it a more focused, stylish look, like the camera was locking in on a key moment or character. After that, I jumped straight into the settings panel. You can copy my post-processing settings, which included things like bloom, ambient occlusion, reflection to enhance the final look. Then I set the resolution to 1080p for full HD clarity and also bumped up the shadow resolution to high. This step is really important for clean, detailed shadows that improve the scene's quality. Next, I set the end frame to make sure the animation finishes exactly where I want. And finally, I exported the video. Everything came together. Smooth camera, clean animation, sharp shadows, and those cinematic details that really bring the scene to life. I opened a light motion and manually added some effects like brightness and contrast, saturation, deep glow, and an HCL mixer. After that, I switched over to Lightroom to further refine the visuals, adjusting the values and doing some color grading for a more polished result. And Finally, everything is done. Here's the final output. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe for more content on animation and editing. See you the next time.